much. Welcome back to Monday's show with Steve First, Georgie Thompson and Chris Milligan. Catch him in Neighbours every weekday at 1.45 and 5, uh, right here on Channel 5. Uh, still to come this morning, uh, teachers are set to do a work to rule from Wednesday. Uh, this means uh, no more invigilating exams, possibly no supervision of uh, extracurricular sport. They're complaining about pay and pensions. I want to know if, if a work to rule with no obvious end date is preferable to a strike. 0207 173 555. That's the number for your calls. Uh, right, though, uh, right now, though, it's over to you, Chris, for the headlines. What have you got for okay, us, Chris? OK, in the Daily Mirror today, we have a married teacher on run with pupil. Uh, the school, uh, the pair eloped in his Ford Fiesta and are now in France. He is how old? He's, He's uh, 30 and she is 15. 15. They're believed to be in France, but apparently the French police have said they've had no sightings of them in France. The last sighting was of her and her alone uh, boarding a Dover to Calais ferry. Um, that was on Friday night. Um, they've been tweeting, haven't they? Back yes. Before? This is what Jeremy Forrest wrote on a blog. About a week ago, I had a bit of a moral dilemma to deal with, both internally and externally. And he's, well, he's newly married as well himself, isn't mm. he? He's only been married for about a year. Um, it's just wrong, isn't it? I mean, yeah. I mean it's, it's, it's wrong. wrong. The police say there's no fear for her safety, which I think is, 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 is probably obvious. Mm. Um, but still not a good thing no. to be doing, is it? No, I mean, there's been lots of people talking about age-gap relationships off-camera here. Um, Nick knows he married somebody the other day. He's 25 years old. He's a teacher. He's a teacher. Yeah. 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 You yeah. entrust yeah. your children's welfare. Yeah. Yeah. What with... must her parents be thinking yeah. right now? She, they don't know where she is. Yeah. She could be anywhere. Worried sick. Worried sick. So um, I'm, I would imagine this is a story that's not going to end happily, but we no. shall see. Anything else? In the male horror at Kew Gardens, a woman was just walking, uh, 30, and she was killed by a falling tree branch as uh, Britain's battered winds got up to 60 miles her. per hour. Yes, as you said, uh, welcome to this country. And mm. bizarrely, she was actually a New Zealander who was, yeah. was based here. Um, I mean, it's terrible, terrible, terrible thing to happen. Mm. I'm just mindful, because we, we had the, the case recently of uh, Anna Ryder Richardson, who had a zoo where a branch fell off a tree, and, and she was prosecuted for it, um, which I always thought, you'd have thought a branch falling off a tree was a yeah, yeah. God situation. And there are a lot of very old trees in Kew, which it's is the attraction are. of yeah. going somewhere like that. So. Yeah. But it's, um, yeah, you, it's a shame you missed our fantastic summer, Chris, because only <laughs> then you could really appreciate the joyous autumn that we've yeah, had. It happened in about <laughs> April. The really interesting thing about, the really interesting, maybe you were taught this at school, but the really interesting thing about we have really distinct seasons. It's, mm -hmm. We have a temperate climate, so, you know, we have spring, and that leads into a nice summer, and then it gets a bit wet in autumn, and then it gets cold in winter. And that's what it's like here. You know, really, it's not like Australia, just boring and hot all the time. Oh, no, Melbourne's kind of the same. <laughs> uh, it is four seasons in one day. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's so depressing. It's getting darker. Oh, as well. oh shut up. It's <laughs> 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 only a Monday morning and I've got to listen to you. <laughs> cool, but just. It's a bit of rain. <laughs> it's uh, slightly worse than that, though. 80 millimetres, I think, isn't it? They're saying? <laughs> oh, I don't know what that means in and old they money. They say us Brits only ever talk about the weather. Well, no, we do. I don't know where they There's got that. There's alerts from. all over the country. Anyway, anyway, OK, we'll leave the weather and this poor lady <laughs> who died in queue to go on to your next story, Chris. Uh, Telegraph. Eight Hundred million pounds wasted on tagging criminals. Oh, these are the electronic tags. Yes. Um, does it say why why they uh, they, they they don't work? Um, I heard one story uh, that a guy got it off his ankle and put it on his dog. <laughs> so he'd never leave the house. So. I mean, I've heard I've heard lots of reports of this. Um, I one of my friends is tagged at the moment, awaiting trial, and uh, and he. It was really interesting because he told me how they do the tagging and, and you have to sit in your home and they measure all the boundaries of your home so it's really kind of accurate and 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 he's terrified of breaking the orders of his tag primarily because as long as he keeps the tag on should he end up uh with a sentence that the punishment will be reduced because of the amount of time you spend on the tag is and, there a uh, curfew with tagging yeah Is that how yeah. it works so yeah, in the one instance of, of someone i know with the tag on at the moment it, it, it's it's keeping him on his toes uh, and, so, but they did say in there that even though there is a curfew at night, they're still letting them out during the day. So they can, yeah. they still have plenty of time and opportunity to. Yeah, but then, you, but, you, but equally, you have people on tags who who may subsequently be cleared of any wrongdoing. Mm -hmm. you know, they, they, they may be on remand for a crime. So people people who are on remand should be allowed to go about their their daily business. But it was like, you know, but it's like anything in a criminal fraternity. There's always the really naughty boys at school who will manage to go. 
you know, within a second, it's off and it's on a dog. It's yeah. like, and, you know, and then the, the ones who are awaiting trial, who may or may not be guilty, are the ones who, who it will work for. But, but by it's... and large, I mean, if, if you're not going to tag people, then what do we do with everybody on a tag? You have to build more prisons and keep people on remand or keep them locked up, and that's going to cost the public purse more money than perhaps the 800 million they say we've wasted on mm. tags. I think it's... it's I've, st I've still got an open mind to them, I suppose, yeah. I'm saying. Do you have tagging in Australia? Um... No, no, I'm not sure. It's not as big as it is over here. They're or just making work on home and away. <laughs> <laughs> That's the same thing. Are yeah. oh, they still operating on the same principles that if you can swim away from Australia to get somewhere else, you're, you're a Good free luck. man? <laughs> <laughs> OK. Uh, anything else? I know you've got another tragedy um, on the floor. Yeah, this one's an absolute tragedy. In the Times, a skydiver plunges to his death after a mid-air collision. And this is how he's um, oh, connected to Sandyman, isn't he? The, uh, the drink yes. firm, Patrick Sandyman, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, they had a, it's two parachutists colliding, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, they there, collided they? about 50 foot uh, from the ground. Um, so, yeah, the parachutes just collapsed. Uh, I think the other guy landed on his legs, which saved him. Um, but, yeah, the other guy, not so good. I suppose we have to accept that and those that take part in these things, there is, it's a high risk, yeah, with, with obvious dangers. Obvious dangers. I must admit, nothing would get me to throw myself out of a plane. I mean... I've done it. I've have done you done it? it? Yeah. yeah. Would you do it in again? In a moment of complete madness. Yeah. 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 You'd do it again? Yeah. Would George, you? Would you? I, I don't... Do you know, I, I, did, I sort of copped out because I did a tandem dive. That's still, so, not, it's still the same to me as well, doing Well, it is and it isn't, because just means that when you, when you hit the deck, there's some bloke on top of you that's going <laughs> to push make down it a bit harder. I mean, it's make, a, yeah, make it even worse. But, um, oh, I mean, it's a great buzz, isn't mm. it? Is it the fear of staring into, in, in, into the abyss? Into, well, no, into... you, because you, if, you fl if you fall out of the plane and you free fall for, I don't know, like 40 seconds or something, but it feels like an eternity, mm. and you hit terminal velocity, so you're going so, so quick, and you don't want that feeling to end, because it's just a magical feeling. Mm feels incredible um, as you're plummeting but um, you know that is there is a, if I was doing it by myself I would I would not really I just wouldn't trust myself to be able to do all the things that you're supposed to be able to do in order to be and safe. The, and the, the chat that died do we know was he experienced was he was he, yeah, he, was, he, he was, was an experienced yeah, he was. tragic mm. tragic okay uh, one last one from you something um, lighter if you have some it. lighter news uh, Damien Lewis and Maggie Smith win Emmy Awards and this is straight from BBC News off the web so Damien Lewis for Damien Lewis was best actor presumably for Homeland. Yes. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. Maggie Smith, I would imagine, is Downton, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Dame. Both brilliant. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. One better than the other, t distinctly. Really? Yeah. I know, but it's the diversity of the two things. I agree. Yeah. I think that's the, that's the world, but that's great. But I, I think one is better than the other. I think I know which one, isn't it? <laughs> if you got a downer on Downton, do you think it's downright shabby? I think it's lost its frizz. Yes. Massively. Ah, controversial. Don't tell me anything, I'm going to wait until that. No, Daniel, I'm not watching the second. I'm not watching the third series. That's, you know, they had uh, Daniel had loads of nominations, so I don't know whether ultimately they'll. they'll I mean, it's, it's great for Dame Maggie. It's on but, PBS but, in America, which yeah. is not. You know, it's not a big network, so it's not seen by many yeah. people. Mad Men had something like 17 nominations and didn't win anything. Did they not? Did no. nothing at all. Didn't win anything. Okay. <laughs>